Thank you for listening to Five of My Life. When I created the show back in 2018, I didn't foresee how engaged the audience would be. I was confident the show would gain listeners, because, hey, I just was. It's a great idea. But I didn't realise how much I would interact personally with listeners. I love your feedback, messages and suggestions. It's fantastic. We truly have built a rather sweet, slightly eccentric global community. I, I get messages from countries where I've never been. It's it's wonderful emails from Brazil and Norway. And I've ended up actually uh, meeting a few people, um, them coming to my house, me going to their house. I've done the park run with a couple of listeners. It's just like a lovely surprise that as well as doing the show and people listening to it, I've actually had the side benefit of feeling part of a, I mean, family would be too hokey a word, but part of a engaged community. Uh, which brings me to our next guest. Uh, a listener wrote in suggesting I interview Tanvir Ahmed. Truth be told, I'd never heard of him, but I take all our listeners' suggestions seriously, so I called him up. And I'm very glad I did. Tanvir is a fascinating fella. Born in Bangladesh, he moved to Australia with his parents in the early 80s. And after training through the Royal Australian College of Psychiatrists and Sydney University, he set to work in Western Sydney as a general adult psychiatrist often working with the most disadvantaged in our community, including visiting clients in jail to conduct assessments for court. You're, you're out of your depth. You're out of your comfort zone. You learn a lot about yourself. Um, and I, it was very challenging. I realised because I was quite imp- One really good thing about it for me is I've always been relatively impractical and not necessarily that great with my hands, etc. So I didn't really think of surgery as a career. But after this experience, I did genuinely consider it because I was delivering babies, I was stitching up uh, head wounds, etc. So I know it gave me a huge amount of confidence having, you know, just before you start internship and throw yourself into the hospital system. I remember that I really felt like, oh, you know what, I, I think I can actually be a doctor. So in terms of hardening oneself and readying oneself to for this type of job, uh, and just the world beyond, uh, I think it was a very formative experience, professionally and personally. An author of two books, The Exotic Rizal and Fragile Nation, he was an inspired suggestion for the show. So listen in next week to hear how he responded to the Five in My Life Challenge. Uh, and please keep those suggestions coming in.